This is chess, not checkers. When the heat of the moment comes, we gotta be able to depend on you. Come here and get educated on what you need to learn, what you need to know, so you can receive your blessings because we have professionals that are coaching, that are educating you guys, and we're going to keep it 100. The biggest challenge is their high school experience is not like anyone else's. <laughs> Out in the classroom a little bit. Hey, shout out to LB. You know who y'all is. That's all my guys. And for all the younger ones that's watching me, just you know, stay focused. Make sure you handle your grades first. Grades is the most important thing. So that's why it's called student athlete. So once you got your grades figured out, then just put in all the hard work and everything will come true for you. So I gotta stay. <laughs> Legacy? That's the plan. That's the plan. It's got to be, right? Yes. Yeah. Next up, man. You know that. Well, actually, I think it's a privilege to have them, getting them ready for the D1 colleges and making sure that they have the academics that they need. You know, what What? What would you say? What would you tell a player or a player's parents, like, what it takes to, to be one of these guys that can come here and compete on the national schedule and can go through this type of a, you know, this type of a battle, I guess you would call it, you know, in terms of on the court, classroom, travel, mm -hmm. what, what what kind of advice or what, what would you tell somebody like that? Well, I think the number one thing is we'll talk to the parents and just let them know it. You know, we want to bring student athletes here, number one. Mm -hmm. You know, um, even though it's a basketball powerhouse, um, Mrs. Owens and, and Zai and everybody, they do a great job with academics. So... Number one, we want to make sure that not only our kids just focus on basketball, but academics become, you know, the number one priority. Let's get it. Talk to me. Man, we good, man. We out here at Trinland, Arizona. Man, we showcasing AZ Compass Prep, man. You see it on the wall. One of the toughest programs in the country. Many sources have them top 10, top five. Man, we're going to prove it on the court, man. So we're here to show the program, show the whole program, not just the whole. We're going to show the whole program. It's a whole wave that's happening. It's elite prep basketball. You see all the players have been moving that way before the pandemic. The pandemic just intensified. And knowing that they have the knowledge going into college to be able to hold their, um, hold their foot in the classroom as well as in their courts. You know, I think the, the biggest challenge is their high school experience is not like anyone else's mm -hmm. you know again just because you've got those um you've got those schools that are um in contact with you and the expectations not only on the basketball court are high but they're high in the classroom too mm -hmm. um you know, the, the administration does a fantastic job of making sure that these guys are on it. And that's part of my responsibility. If someone starts to slip, I just go down the hall mm -hmm. because admin does not want these kids to fail. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that is the administration pushes these kids just as hard in here as I am sure the coach is too out on the court. Wow. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's really cool to see. Let us know that, man. Come on, man. He ain't pulled up in the whip. And you know, that's my little baby. She a little dirty right now, but I mean, you know, you get dirty the one time. I'll be. I'm going to slap her up, take it to the car wash. We're going to be back. Let me hold the whip while we out here, man. Come on, man. Can't can even do it. Can't even do it. Come on, man. It's too hot to be walking. Come ah! on, man. The AC blowing. Oh, of course. Come on, man. Every time. Let's get it. This is chess, not checkers. You want to get paid at least. That makes sense? Good job. Good job. Family on three. One, two, three. Family!
When we go in and saying Gilbert Chandler, bro, it's not. I'm telling y'all. God, God they ain't sweet. You gotta have that dog mentality. Oh, my God. come from a dark place. That's what you got to do. I'm going to get to the next level and prepare you for that college level, honestly. And many of people that are don't have this opportunity, they're, you know, handicapped, they can't walk, they can't breathe or whatever like that. So we try to, you know, educate our kids to take opportunities like this serious and, uh, and work every day. And as you see yesterday, our kids, it don't matter who you're playing, you're going to come out there, you're going to give it the same effort that you would playing a top player in the country. And, um, and like I said, that's just speak volume of what we do here at Compass Prep. The jump over here is just completely different. It's like a different world. Mm. Everything's so spaced out, everything's so big, like you can't walk nowhere, it's boiling. <laughs> like, it's just, yeah, but it's cool, it's good, I like it out here. What you like about AZ Compass? Anything to be honest. Uh, I would say that the main thing is that they, they push me. Well, I call it a pie chart, basically, mm -hmm. that they're good athletes, that they are socially and emotionally okay. Mm -hmm that they have top academics, and that they are college ready. You can have the best basketball program in the world, but if you don't have your education down there, that means nothing. Right. Shot to the L. Come on, man, represent. You feel me? Represent. We're going to do my team in the nation. It's not like we're here. That's us, AZ Dorms. Describe his swing for me. This, oh. Describe the swing. A little, little unconventional. Look. You co signing it? I'm co signing <laughs> We was at Top Golf, man. We were chilling. Yeah. They had all kind of food, all kind of relaxing. Uh -huh. You could have easily stayed at the house, man. What you doing in the gym? It's 10 o'clock, man. What made you come back? Could I, could I, have, to, I have to work out? Like, I mean, the work ain't done yet. I gotta work out every single day, every single day, like no stop. Where did that come from? I mean, it came from just like me. Like, I wanna be successful for sure. I don't know where, like, where God's gonna put me, like the what type of situation, but I wanna be successful. Getting in touch together, close range, getting the hand speed right, uh, you know, putting them different cadences, and just getting, just getting right, just mixing it up. Kind of letting them have get creative with it. I mean, basketball is an art, not a science. So multiple ways to get to a solution. I'm trying to help them figure out and give them multiple ways to do it. They thought we was gonna party and not get this work in. Oh, they tripping. They tripping. you want a jersey? Yeah, I'm waiting for you back. I'm gonna take you one on one. Like these kids are away from home. You know, they, you know they're away from their families. They're away from you know their friends and everything else. And you know, by them trusting me and, and coming to Arizona, I gotta give them that same energy. Because everything that he told us on the visit, like we get everything. Like, yeah, for sure. Twenty four hour gym whenever we want it. House, super nice, food, everything. It's not, it's not easy. It's not like just like some, some BS. So we gotta get there and put the work in and show people that like, like we're here. You, you, you have to have grit, patience, dedication uh, in order to produce the result. If you think that it's gonna happen overnight, uh, you know, you're sadly mistaken. Here with Coach Gibb after an impressive win over PHH. Can you just tell me what the mean, what the win means to you guys tonight, man? Man, it's a big time win, man. They were ready, man. It seemed like for most of the game they wanted it more than us. Uh, I mean, but our guys came through in the end, made a couple couple cuss plays. Uh, outside of that, man, just every game is is a championship game for us. We want to win every game. We don't want no losses. They're a good team, though, I tell you that. They're a hell of a team. Absolutely. The only team undefeated in the bubble. Does that mean a lot to you guys? Is that what you what your intentions were coming in here? Or what does that mean to you all to be undefeated, leaving out of this first bubble? I mean, everybody, we want to win every game. But I think for us, man, it's just making sure we're doing what we work on every day, every game at a high level, man. So if they equal a win, then that's perfect. You know what I'm saying? But for us, it's about culture, letting our culture take over the game. And then when our culture works, the score should work out for us a W, but it's been good though, man, I'll be honest with you.
Absolutely. Good win, Coach. Thank you. Yep, yep. Man, you guys got another win tonight, man, against a tough team. Talk to me a little bit about just fighting through, you know, a team that's on the up and coming and trying to take you guys down. Um, it was just another team, you know, in our way to get to Geico. Uh, you know, I feel like we could have beat them by 40, but that's just because I know how good we are and we play pretty bad today. But, uh, yeah, that was just another team in our way, and that's how we go do every other team. Talk to me about this week, man, or, you know, the last couple of days. You guys have had an intense schedule. You guys are battling team after team. You know, this is your first year in the grind session. Just talk to me about what it's been like, the experience. Um, that's, what we, that's what we want. We want all the smoke. You know, we want the best teams to say that we the best every time we beat them. You know, that's just what we want. We want the toughest schedule. We just want everything. You showed a little bounce off at the end, too, huh? Uh, that was like, that was like, right, that was like. I hear you. Appreciate you spending time. We be playing some of the best kids in the country, and we be trying to scratch that itch. It, the winning the games is nice, but 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 having to compete and see your kids level up, and we gotta really get down and coach, and we gotta strategize, and we gotta make adjustments. That's the stuff we on. Let's get it, gang. The girls still beat me up. We got some kids that's gonna get after. Yeah. Um, gonna be tough. Yeah, we 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 our style of play, we're gonna get up and down the floor. Uh, we got some players. So yeah. that makes it a lot yeah. nicer. But, but, but we're gonna be we just grind. We're just gonna grind, 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 grind. Like, like, like it's it's we we again, we, we them dudes that's in the trenches. We yeah. we like our kids to put on your hard hat, let's put go. on your work boots, and let's go. Don't matter against who, where, when, why, none of that. We we trying to get after it. Cause, so, cause you're gonna play. need some stuff that's gonna level you up. And we wanna play in the stuff that's gonna level you up. We don't wanna play in the stuff that 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 allows you to think you better than what you are. You gotta level up. We're very grateful to actually play on a uh, platform like this. Uh, coming from like AIA basketball, it's like really no competition or anything. So coming and playing on this platform, there's a lot uh, more competition and it just gives us a chance to put ourselves out there and let people know who we are. Alright, yep, this is going viral. Arizona, Arizona, man, y'all been so great. <laughs> you like that one? <laughs> hey, man, y'all been so great, man. Welcoming, y'all embarked the vibe, the energy, the excitement, and the hard work and dedication, man. The hospitality was amazing. Hey, hey, can't beat it, unmatchable. Um, y'all set the tone, man, and I appreciate y'all. I know Gerald appreciates y'all. Um, and we gonna be back, man, so stay tuned for the finished product, man. We at the airport. And it's sad to say, it's not that time though, you feel me? But we're going to be back though, so stay tuned, and we out.